All right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to access your CBO recorder using IE and also how to find the IP address of your recorder on your network. Once you've connected your recorder and powered it, you want to go ahead and download the IP tool found on our website. You want to go ahead and launch that. And it's going to go ahead and show you any SIBO device on your network. In this case, it's found on QDVR. And it's telling me that it's on 192.168.1.101. And it's HTTP port is 80. It's data port is 6036. So from here, we can actually double click and it's gonna go ahead and open up the Internet Explorer browser. Now, if you have another browser that's defaulted, like Chrome, Safari, uh, Opera, or any other browser, it may open that other browser, and you can only utilize Active, the ActiveX Control plugin using IE on the Windows platform or Safari on the Mac OS platform. So in this case, I have it set already to Internet Explorer, but if you don't, then you will just basically have to open up your Internet Explorer browser and then navigate to the same IP address that is shown on the search tool. Let's go ahead and maximize this and I'm gonna do one more change to the browser and for that we'll go into the gear which is the tools button here then click internet options select security custom level and then navigate about a quarter way down and we'll focus on download unsigned ActiveX controls. Currently it's set to disable. I'm going to go ahead and set it to prompt. Press OK. Click Yes. Click Apply. And OK. Now that we've made that change, we're going to go ahead and click on the download the plugin. Click on Run. Now if you are not an admin, it's going to go ahead and ask you for the admin pass. Click yes. Once it's done that, wait a few seconds and go ahead and refresh the page. Once you've done that, then you want to do admin. And the default password is going to be 123456. Click login and you are already in there. So see on the bottom here, it's gonna go ahead and ask you, do you want me to launch the ActiveX control associated with this web client? On the bottom here, you will see allow or allow for all web pages. I normally set this to allow for all web websites because uh, I'm a technician here, but if you only have one recorder set to one IP address, then you can just basically select allow. But for any technicians that are installing multiple recorders in different locations, you want to select allow for all websites. Once you've done that, it's going to run the plugin and it's going to give you the picture. In this case, I don't have a camera connected to this recorder, so it's not going to display anything. So if we go to the functions panel, you'll see that you have your camera, your record parameters, your alarms, uh, a disc. If you want to do format, take a look at the, the health of your recorder, uh, the hard drive, and so on and so forth. And that's how you basically find your recorder on your network, as well as open up your Internet Explorer browser on, Windows, on a Windows machine. Now to change your ports, you want to go into your functions panel, you want to select port, and you want to change two of these ports. 
the 554 port will stay the same while the HTTP port and the server port are the ones that you want to change for obscurity. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and select port 95 for the HTTP port and I'm going to go ahead and select let's say 60 40 and apply. We'll go ahead and do that and I'm going to go ahead and go into another page here see it says it's not correct so now now that I have changed the HTTP port the way to access the recorder now it's on port 95 now default is 80 which means that you don't have to designate when you're going into the browsers URL you don't have to designate a port in this case we'll go ahead and designate the port by selecting a colon then entering 95 which is the port that I just set click on go and here's your recorder you have port 95 there 6040 for your server port and then 554 these are the ports that you're going to be forwarding in our next video thank you for watching